Hello friends and welcome back to the tutorial of Python for the beginners. In this video and in the next few videos we are going to learn about modules. In this video we are going to learn that what is module and how to use them. So firstly let's learn that what are modules. Generally modules are the pieces of code that other people have written to fulfill common tasks such as generating random numbers, performing mathematical operations, etc. Similarly, you can create your own code so that you can use it as your module. So, I think you must be confused with that what is modules because in other languages like C and Java, you must have heard about the header files or the packages. Similarly, in Python, we are having the modules but the thing is in C language we call it as header files in Java we call it as the packages but in Python we call them as the modules <coughs> the only difference between them is just of a name rest will be the same because it's all about the functions creating ones use it many times like we did in a last program so let's just start with the program and let's learn what are modules so just open the python shell so this is your python shell open on your screen now let's see what are the inbuilt modules or we can say what are the inbuilt commands that we are having in python because as we know to create some program or to get some output we do not need to include any header file any module or something like that so for that let's see what are the inbuilt commands that we are having in python due to which we do not need to include any header file to get some simple output so let's just see so just type dir in your python shell and within brackets just type double underscore buildings double underscore now when you will press enter you will get all the list of the commands or we can say the functions that are available in python by default so just press enter now you can see on your screen you are having a large number of list which are already available in python and which you do not need to include it externally see you can see arithmetic error so it is also showing the errors which are available in python and these are by default values in your python shell or we can say in your python so these are all the commands built-in is also a type of module but the thing is it is hidden and it is being included by default by the python so you do not need to include it externally so let's start it in a new shell so that you can see all the commands clearly so just open the python shell now you have a new python shell open here so let's see how to import the modules in your python shell so for that you have a command import and you have to type the module name whichever module you want to import like uh, i'm having some by default uh, modules which are predefined by the python which we can use according to your requirement so let's so let's just type that the one is OS so I will just import OS and when you will press enter it will import that file and press enter so you can see you do not get any error you are again getting these three greater than symbols that means your file is being imported and let's see how to get the values from it so just type OS dot wait for some time and it will show you the list of all the functions that are available inside OS so you can see it is showing all the lists available like I want to know my current working directory so I will just type os.get because I am having one function 
in python through which i can check my current working directly so here i am having os.get cwd open the bracket close the bracket you do not need to pass any of the arguments inside it and press enter so you can see this is the path where i am right now so from here i have included so you can see i have used one command through this also similarly we can call our modules in different ways so import os was one way the second way is to call the multiple modules at a same time and in a single line so for that how you can do it you will type import os give a comma and type the name of other module like i am having other module as sys which is for the system and press enter now both of your modules have been called out so just type os dot and you will get all the list of it similarly you can do this for system also sys dot wait for some time and you will get all the list of it i will check for this api like you can see when i have put this opening bracket it will not show anything to you because it doesn't require any parameter to be passed through it so just remove this and press enter so you can see it is showing you this the api version of your system this was another way of importing the modules now if i want to import the import my module with some different name then how to do that let me show you like what i want is i want to import my system but not with this sys i want to import it like system with the name system so i will just type import sys as system so when i will press enter instead of writing sys you can type the name as system and press enter see your system is being imported now i will check for the same command but instead of writing sys i will just type system so just type here system dot wait for some time see my first command is api version now again press enter and see you got the same result 1013 that means you can call your modules with the different name also so this was another way of calling the things you are having one more way like if you want to call all the values from your module but you do not want to write the name as like giving the module name dot then writing all the things writing all the function name instead you want to type directly the function name so how to do that let me show you so for that just type from os and type import star star means you are importing all the functions and you want to call them directly with the function name not by using os dot like that so you can do that also now press enter inside os i am having one function which i have checked here which was get cwd but this time i want to call this my path where i am working right now i don't want to write it like this i will i want to write it with this function name only so let's see is it working or not get cwd packet opening packet close now press enter and let's see is it showing me the same result or it is showing me some error press enter now you can see it is showing the same output but this time you haven't written this os dot get sub get cwd bracket opening bracket close this time you have just written the function name and you got the same output so this was one more way and i want to show you one last way 
like you want to call from OS import I want to call this function but not with this name I want to call it with the name CWD only import get CWD as CWD so you have to type this only and press enter but this time you will directly write CWD instead of this and you will get this output again press enter now your module is being called from OS and your function name is get CWD but you are calling it with the name CWD just type CWD bracket opening bracket close and press enter and you got the same result so you have seen how we can import our modules in Python in some different ways and how easy it is for us to use it and to modify it and to get the output by using the less number of lines and less number of alphabets so this was all about the modules and using the modules and in the next video we will learn how to create the modules means you will create your module on your own so that you can use it in your program according to your requirement because I know we are having some predefined functions but sometimes it happens that we don't want to use that function because we are having some different idea so that we can implement it with some with our project so that it will generate or innovate something better so this was it i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you do enjoy this video so please click on the like button and if you have any queries regarding the topic so please leave a comment below so that i can resolve your problem as soon as possible and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet so please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my videos and thanks for watching this video